Hello, and welcome to Sonic Academy's How to Record Using SQL. In this tutorial, we're going to take you on a step-by-step -step guide on how to capture a guitar and vocal performance onto your computer. We will give you tips on achieving the best recording, mic placement, and adding effects to your recorded tracks. The easiest and cheapest way to get a recording on your computer is to buy a USB microphone that plugs directly into your USB port on your computer. This avoids buying and setting up a costly sound card, microphone, and leads. A few USB microphones on the market today that we would recommend if you're starting out would be the Samson C01U, costing around £60. The Alesis USB podcasting kit that comes with a pair of Alesis headphones for around £90. The Behringer C1U USB for around £50. And finally, the MXL USB 006, coming in at around £60. Today, we're using a Samson G-Track, which has the added benefit of allowing you to record a second input and has a headphone out. With these mics, the preamp and audio interface is built into the microphone, bringing the signal up to a usable level for your chosen software. However, as the price suggests, they won't achieve pristine high-end recordings, but are perfectly adequate for the singer-songwriter wanting to record demos. The next consideration is software. Entry-level software we would recommend would be Apple's straight-out-of-the-box GarageBand. Steinberg's SQL 2 for both Mac and PC, Cakewalks Music Creator 5 for PC only. If you would like to delve deeper into the world of computers, sound cards and software, then you can head on over to our Beginner's Guide to Music Production course. So now you have a microphone and some live recording software, you're ready to set it up and record your song. In the next video, we're going to be showing you how to record your acoustic guitar. Mm -hmm. 